Hello. Something strange has happened with my courgettes this year. We're moving into autumn here now. I don't grow veg in the United Kingdom. And by now I should have harvested lots of courgettes. I had planted three of them in small water buckets. But something strange has happened this year. It's a mystery. But before I tell you what that is, I want to show you some footage from a previous year of me growing courgettes, zucchinis in small buckets and bags just to show that it can be done. Watch that, then come back to me. Hello, it's the end of the growing season here at Homegrown Veg and today is a day of reckoning. I've been growing courgettes in courgette corner, one in a bucket, one in a bag, as part of my which is best grow vegetables in buckets or bags series. Now if you're in the United States we're actually growing in the zucchini zone. Yeah we're growing one zucchini in a bucket and one zucchini in a bag. And to record that progress I've been using pebbleometers. I'm going to cut you to a short clip of video now that shows me harvesting these courgettes, harvesting these zucchinis and when you come back to me um, we'll turn out the pebbleometers and we'll see if one is any better than the other. If the bag is better than the bucket or the bucket is better than the bag. So the one on the left is definitely in front in terms of producing courgettes. It's got about five courgettes on it I think and one of them's nearly ready uh, and that's the one in the bucket. The one in the bag has a couple of courgettes on it, they're very small but it, it's got courgettes. Um, and so yeah I'm, I'm happy with the, way these, with, with the way these two courgettes are going. You may be able to see that I've got a couple of yoghurt cartons ready. We take a courgette, we put a pebble in, we take a courgette, we put a pebble in, we do a count up at the end of the growing season and we make a judgement.
just a small trial but a trial nevertheless with accurate results thanks to these pebbleometers this is the bucket and this is the bag okay and that's the divide line let's see what we've got in the bag first just move them out there that's 10 courgettes grown in a bag right next to that bag we have a bucket let's see how many courgettes grow in the bucket eight courgettes grow in the bucket ten courgettes grow in the bag could we reasonably say bags grow courgettes better than buckets just on a couple of courgettes over a whole season or would you say the bag and the bucket performed equally I think they performed equally based on this I wouldn't decide to grow all my courgettes in buckets or all my courgettes in bags I just think it's much of a muchness don't you hey let me know what you think um, but that's not bad is it I mean that's 18 courgettes 18 zucchinis from two plants I've never grew these before uh, and I was really chuffed with the way they turned out I'll tell you the variety while I've, I've got the packets handy the variety is Astia A-S-T-I-A Astia and uh, they are a lovely courgette they are a lovely zucchini um, yeah so that's the results of that trial um, it's not pushing me towards bags and it's not pushing me towards buckets was it worth doing? yeah I think it was and let's face it off the top of my head I would never have remembered 8 and 10 if I hadn't kept a record I would have been guessing but with pebbleometers you don't guess it's an accurate record okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video this is homegrown veg signing out Well, if nothing else, that proves that it can be done. Um, it was just a little uh, experiment I was conducting, growing uh, courgettes in buckets and bags to see if one was significantly better than the other, but they turned out fairly even, Stevens, didn't they? But we got lots of courgettes, so I know I can grow them in buckets and I know I can grow them in bags. So what's happened this year? Well, I started um, three plants off in buckets and initially they looked reasonably healthy they looked well they were producing nice green leaves and flowers were starting to be produced and those flowers started to open and lo and behold we started to get some courgettes being produced on all the plants and all the flowers were female flowers so every flower produced a courgette nothing strange about that particularly if this was an all female plant but then things started to go wrong things started to go awry 
uh, the tips of the courgettes started to go soft and turn yellow. I thought I've got a problem here because it was happening to all the courgettes on all the plants. I, 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 need, to, I need to have a look around other gardens on YouTube to see who's growing courgettes, see who's growing zucchini and see if there's any indication as to what that, this might be and if there's a way of arresting it or pre preventing it. So I looked around and I came across one video and a guy had the same issue as me. He had one or two uh, zucchini that had the yellow tip on the end and what he said was that the fruit had set before it had been fertilised. The flower hadn't been fertilised and the fruit had set and that fruit would never make anything. And on reflection, thinking about my courgettes, every single flower, a female, no male flowers, they can't have been pollinated, can they? Do they need to be pollinated? Was it an all-female variety? I don't know. But I do know that all the courgettes looked as though they weren't going to make it. They were going to go soft. So what's to be done? I decided to take them off. They're only small. I couldn't use them for anything. Uh, but they were just going to get bigger and softer and bigger and softer. And I still wouldn't be able to use them. So I thought, take them off and see if you can get a second flush. Okay. Well, here's the mystery. So I took them off and more flowers appeared. Hey, we're up and running again. We might get some more uh, courgettes growing. But all those flowers were male. There was no courgette behind them. They were all male flowers. So the girls had been to the dance and gone home and the males had just arrived. <laughs> They'd missed one another. Oh, blimey. So, I let the plants grow on, but there were no more females, just the males. And then those flowers dropped, and the plants withered away, and I got nothing, absolutely nothing. Hey, compare and contrast that to the previous growing year that I showed you. So I was really disappointed. Three buckets, three plants, nothing. So we move on through spring, through summer and into autumn and, and that's all behind us now. And um, so I'm now concentrating on getting my greenhouse sorted out and tomatoes have ripened and I've harvested doors and cucumbers have ripened and I've harvested doors and I've started to tidy the greenhouse out. And what I spotted was a solitary courgette, a small plant, just in a three inch pot that was going nowhere. It must have been a spare. I thought, why don't I move that up into a bucket or a bag? Why don't I do that? Take it in the greenhouse. See if we can do any better with that. Now, bear in mind, we're moving into mid-autumn now, so there ain't a great deal of light, and there's not much sunshine about, there's not much warmth, but the plant's in the greenhouse. Hey! Let's go outdoors now and have a look at that plant. Let's go and check it out, come on. So this is my uh, courgette. It's at the uh, Last Chance Saloon now. Um, and this, this is the pot it was growing in about a month ago. And I simply moved it up into this bag and brought it into the greenhouse. Um, and it's shot on, it's come on leaps and bounds. Now, this, this is a male flower. If you're not familiar with courgettes, just a single stem, a thin stem, with a flower on the end, it's a male flower. This is a female flower. It hasn't opened yet. I know it's a female because it's got a courgette behind it. So we're looking for this male flower to pollinate this female flower. Bit of sound of things. And if I look around the plant, we've got another male here popping up. 
We've got a female here, we've got a female here, a female here, and a female here. So we've got a mix. The boys and girls have turned up at the same time. We've got males and females. So we'll have to see how they go. Now one problem I know I'll probably have is that as we've moved into autumn there aren't as many insects about. Flying insects, certainly no bees. Um, so these are going to need to be pollinated by hand. I'm going to have to uh, watch a couple of videos on YouTube, see how people do it and do it. And let's see if we can get some courgettes over the finish line this year here at home grown veg. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. This has given me something to work on now through the uh, cooler, colder months. I have a great deal of uh, faith in this because of where we are in the growing year. But hey, who knows? We'll give it a chance. As I've said, it's at the last chance saloon. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.